Hey you guys, welcome back to our day. This might be more of a my day than anything else. to Target right now. I'm going to try and do this left-handed here. I am prepping just a little sheet here. That one's about apples. I get apples from a guy that brings them from his orchard over in eastern Washington and brings like 5,000 pounds over. Anyway, we've been bringing them to friends at church for years now. Anyway, but I also did one yesterday for book club for all my friends. I do like these little announcement sheets or whatever. I kind of design them and then I put them on our Facebook groups and stuff. But I had done one yesterday and I had made a cute one for our book club in October. Um, we're reading the book called Educated by Tara Westover. Excellent book. I just put it on my Instagram page too to kind of get like conversation going about it. But um, anyway, we're all really excited to talk about that book and I had spent you know a little bit of time yesterday creating this whole document about the book um here let me show it to you really quick so I had just done this whole this is the one I did for Instagram I kind of changed it for um I kind of changed it for Instagram versus my personal one because the personal one had like you know the date and the location and all that kind of stuff but um <laughs> I had done this one and posted it and I was all excited about it and then I realized that the date that I was doing book club whether I was hosting it or not was literally the same night that I was leaving for Utah to go to my sister's wedding and I was like ah, oh. like everyone had already agreed on the date and everything was all good and I could just like let them all you know have book club on their own but um, I'm really excited about this book and I want to go and so I, I begged him. I was like, I have changed this book club for other people so many times. Can we change it for me? <laughs> so we bumped it up a week. Um, I can't do this left handed so I'm going to do that when I get home. But um, anyway, so I'm excited about book club and reading that book and talking about it. Leave a comment below if you've read it or if you've th heard about it but haven't decided if you're going to read it or not. I'm really curious to see if you guys have read it and what your thoughts are on it. Not to give too much of it away, but it is about a girl, real story of her childhood and growing up in southern Idaho. And she actually, um, this is about the book I'm talking about. She actually grew up probably about 30, 45 minutes away from where I grew up in, I grew up in northern Idaho, or no, northern Utah, and she grew up in southern Idaho, so right along the border, and, um, and she's a Mormon, or she grew up as a Mormon, I'm doing quotes for a reason, and I'm LDS, um, and grew up Mormon as well, sorry, I'm getting my shoes on, it's just really interesting because if you are not LDS and you're reading that book and you're like, these people are crazy, yes, they're crazy. But it is by no means in any way, shape, or form a stereotypical lifestyle for a Mormon. It is not in any way. So if you're like, but I thought Dana was Mormon. This girl is crazy or her family is crazy. She wasn't crazy. Her family was. Um, yes, they were. And... Yes, that's not normal. <laughs> so, all right, let me show you what I got to do here. All right, so here's my pile of to-do. I got this little pillow the other day at TJ Maxx, I think, for the plane ride coming up. And I, I inflated it this morning, and I was just going to put it on top of my little carry-on. I literally filled it up like an hour ago. So something's wrong with that. Got to figure that out. Here is my notebook and has my to-do list and it has Jason's paycheck and some cash to deposit. Here are the shoes that Kaylee did not want to wear. I'm going to take those back to Marshall's, an extra battery to take with me. 
So I also have to go to Target, like I said. I need to get some snacks and stuff for the airplane and for at night hanging out with my sister. For those of you who are new, um, I am flying secretly. Hang on, let me just go get in the car. This is this is harder than it, I thought it was gonna be. All right, so I'm gonna sit here in front of my driveway for a second before I go. I'm surprising my sister going to her bridal shower for her wedding in two days. I'm flying down like on a Thursday morning. I have like a, I think it is a nine o'clock flight. And then my twin sister is meeting me there at the airport and we're gonna go get lunch. Hopefully we'll get lunch, depending on when she can get off work. And then make the drive up to see, up to my parents' house. The wedding shower is like two doors away from my parents' house. So it'll be super easy. We got it. We have to go incognito. We have to like. We're trying to hide my car or my sister's car. I think I'm gonna call my mom's other neighbor and ask if we can hide the car in her garage, so my sister doesn't even see us. Because I want to like come into the wedding shower kind of after it started, after a lot of people are there, and just kind of surprise her that way. But I also need to go get her a gift for the wedding shower, and it's my obligation. Like I've told, talked to you about this before. I was trying to get her a nightgown but I couldn't find one at the other store that I was at. I think Target and Marshalls and TJ Maxx. I couldn't find one. If I can't find a nightgown, you know I'm gonna have to get some other stuff. I mean, it's my obligation as a sister. So I'm getting all this stuff ready to go, but I'm only like, I leave at seven o'clock in the morning on a Thursday and I'm literally getting on a flight at seven o'clock the next morning. So you wouldn't think that I would need to take as much stuff and prep as much stuff and all that kind of stuff because I'm not gonna do my hair again. I shouldn't even do my makeup again the next morning, but I probably will because I don't like being in public without my makeup on outside of like Target and running errands around town. I just don't like being on a public flight without makeup on. But let me ask you moms, <laughs> the amount of work it takes for us to leave the house and my kids will be in school 90% of the time that I'm gone. See, oh, my battery is flashing. Okay, this is why I brought my battery. The amount of work it takes for me to be gone for literally 24 hours is like, or maybe it's just me. Maybe I feel like I need to get it done. Cause I know if I made a meal, they're not gonna eat it. They're gonna make mac and cheese or Jason's gonna bring home pizza or something. So I don't know why I go to the effort, but I like a clean house before I leave on vacation or even for 24 hours. And I'm gonna get all the errands done and then come home and I'll probably pack tonight and tomorrow. Like what, pack my pajamas and my outfit for the second day. It's not that much, but I also have to pack the gift. My battery's gonna die. Let me get a new battery. Let's go to Target and all these other errands. And if I get anything interesting, I will show you. All right, so really quick while I wait in the line here at the bank, I wanted to, I'm not very good at using this lately, but I hopped onto my Target Cartwheel app and you can do this for any grocery store you currently shop at, but I love Cartwheel. And so I read something yesterday online that made me very happy because I usually miss this. But look at that, 40% off trick or treat bagged candy. And it's on the $15.99 and $19.99 bags. And then I also added, um, there's M&Ms that are 20% off, a Butterfingers and M&Ms Creepy Cocoa Crisp. I don't know if I'm gonna get that one. I think I'm just gonna get a regular M&M bag. But anyway, and so I've also added a couple other, what have I added? Some of it's like leftover, and like this is all leftover. I highly recommend you going through, what I tend to do when I'm really not sure what I'm gonna get, I go through and I add it by the highest discount item. Cause sometimes you just don't know what's on sale. Like 50% off Nabisco snacks. I don't know if I'm gonna get that today, but it's good, they're, they're usually good for Oh, that one expires at the end of the week, but sometimes they're good for a little bit longer. So I add them just in case I want to use them later on. But so I sort it by the highest discount and I just kind of sort down through them like Tic Tacs. I need some for my plane ride. And anyway, I just kind of sort through them this way, even if I have a grocery list already going, because then if I see something that I need and it's on a huge discount, then like all the better, right? So anyway, I highly recommend you doing that before you go shopping. But plus once you're there, what you can actually do is, so you can go like this. You have all the stuff in your, sh in your cart that you already are going to get. 
and then you go you go back out you go over here and you click on this scan and you can do this for a lot of grocery stores so then you actually scan your items as you're ready to shop or check out so then I'll just have my shopping cart um, sometimes I just set it off to the side as I'm done shopping or I do it along the way if I know that I'm going for cream cheese and speaking of which no I don't have any bagels so I don't need any more cream cheese anyway I will just take everything in my cart and I will, will literally just scan everything that I have in my cart and see if there is a discount on those items and a lot of the time I come up with like five or ten of my items that actually have a 10% discount on them and then I also have my 5% target card discount so I'm saving like 15% just by like using my phone and I need to get better at it I need to get better at my budget and so that's my challenge to you do that for any grocery store I know that I do it for Safeway and Target and QSC is our grocery store here and then um, but I know that a lot of grocery stores do it so that's my recommendation I'm hoping that their candy is not all sold out I usually just get it from Costco for $14 but if I can save 40% um, at Target this one day that coupon is worth good for one day so I'm gonna put this on my Instagram so you guys can go and get it today because this isn't gonna go up for another week all right I'm pulling forward I gotta go all right so another fun thing Jason and I were here at the bank, I don't know, like a month ago, and we were closing out one of my checking accounts. I opened up a checking account just for this YouTube channel, like a year, maybe a year and a half ago, and it was back when I was actually going to be making money every month, and it was worth it to open up the account and have an accounting record of the money. Anyway, then all of everything hit the fan, and I stopped earning money on a monthly basis, which meant that I started getting fees on that account, because I wasn't making regular deposits. Long story short, came in a, like a month ago to close out that checking account and started talking to the banker that was in here. He was curious about like this checking account because I it says on, like I labeled it, you know, Dana Creates and YouTube. He was like, wait, what? And anyway, this like total techie banker guy that works here, we had like a half hour conversation about YouTube and he really wants to start a channel and <laughs> So now every time I come in here, he like works, you know, at his own little desk or whatever. But every time I he sees me or hears my name getting called from one of the tellers doing a deposit for me, he like runs over to the door and he asks if I'm filming today. And he's not a vlogger by any mean, means. He wants to do like a tech talk type YouTube channel. And um, anyway, they're going to come back over here in a second. I don't want to embarrass anyone. We're getting in trouble with the bank. But um, I just think it's funny because he gets so excited about talking about doing a YouTube channel. So... If he happens to watch my channel now and get tips or whatever, then um, say hi to him, but I doubt it, um, just because this isn't the kind of content that he would even watch, but um, I, it's just kind of fun that I encouraged him to eventually start his channel and get going on it, because we had a really fun conversation. Um, so anyway, they're going to get my deposit, and I'm off to Target to start with. All right, so nothing too exciting here at Target. So I'll just show you what I got really quick. I got some M&Ms for Jason, because I found another snack for myself. Then I got some Pringles. That's more for like at night to snack on, maybe a little bit on the plane. But I got these ones to snack on on the plane. And then I did find a nightgown for my sister. I'll probably keep that one a little bit private. It's nothing like super risque or anything. It's just, I'll keep that a little bit more private. Then I got my 40% off candy. I just got one bag of that and then I got two boxes of q-tips the other one's down in the cart and then I got a little something something for my sister as well and then I did end up getting bagels because once I said it I was like oh we should probably get some bagels and then their strawberry cream cheese was actually the same price as the regular which is never the case and so I got that and some mini bagels that are blueberry so I think that's it do I have something else down here oh I did I have a little thing of um, travel lotion. I'm almost out. And then I also got, let's see what else is down here, all the other Q-tips. So then I got two bags. I got one small one, just because this will fold up really small with that one. Um, that one's mine. And then I'm actually going to give her a gift from Jason with all the Oreos that I got. All right, so I've been watching the news. It's kind of a big day in news, but I don't want to get all political. I don't really want to go there on this channel. 
I would love to like have conversations with people, but I know that it is a sensitive subject. But just know that I, it is the 20, I don't know what date it is, but something big is going on in our country today. And I've been watching that, but I also need to like kind of stop and like actually get some stuff done. So I think next I need to go through my purse and declutter it. So I have a clean purse. Like look at the wallet alone. Just look at all the receipts and anyway, all that kind of stuff needs to get sorted out. All right, so I'm not gonna do like a whole like, what's in my purse, but I will like empty it out and see how much garbage and junk I've got in here. Um, uh, someone's calling me, so hang on one second. All right, so not without going into too many details, I've cleaned out the purse. I'm gonna put all these elastic bands that are the old ones. These are the ones I'm not using anymore. I'll put those in the kind of deep, Actually, I might just put these ones in the bathroom. I'll just put these ones in the bathroom. These are the ones that I'm currently using, so they go back in my bag. This are, these are all my credit cards and debit cards that I currently use. And then these are gift cards that I kind of temporarily use, but I don't like to tuck them away too far, so they'll just go here into my purse. I got a fruit snack, randomly. Probably from Ashley at some point. And then pens, this is a snack from church that never got eaten, so I'll put that one over there. I don't want that myself. I'm gonna do coins in here because they always kind of get lost in the wallet here. Then I've got a thing of Tic Tacs here and leftover Tic Tacs. I'll probably open that one up and see if I can fit, 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 <laughs> see if I can fit some more in that one. Um, this one actually just goes right back into the pouch here. I just wanted to, this hasn't changed anything that I've had in here before. There's some, that one has like one more squeeze of lotion in it. In fact, I might just take it out. And then this one is for my purse. And then the other one that I just got today is for my like makeup bag. Uh, it's just different. I'm usually getting ready when I'm not with my purse when I'm traveling. So, so I'm gonna take my travel sickness medicine, it's Meclizine, and this works for 12 hours. If you remember the last flight that I took to Salt Lake City, Utah, <laughs> It did not end well, so I'm gonna take that. I don't need these, luckily, but I'm just gonna leave them in there. I've got a little bit of perfume, and I've got some little teeth picks in here, and can't really even see them. They're in there, and then that's pretty much it. So that little pouch is all sealed up. This side was cleaned out. It was mainly my wallet that needed to get cleaned out, and so all of the rest of this stuff is actually gonna go back into the purse. All right, so I have been watching the news for a couple hours. I went through my purse, got that all situated, and I have a whole bunch of stuff st sitting on the stairs ready to go upstairs to pack, but I'm not going up right now. So I've been down at the bus stop talking to one of the moms, and this little girl. Oh, she doesn't wanna be on camera, <laughs> but she kinda does. You goober, you little hole in the face. Aren't you a hole in the face? Yes, and she's wanting to go play, but I told her she had to get on camera first before she can go play. I feel like I have a red tooth. I know, it looks a little <laughs> funny, doesn't it? Okay, you can go play, but you have to shower tonight. Do you understand? I don't care. You don't care? Okay, go play, have fun. So Kaylee and Abby's activity tonight for church is to go play with someone's new puppies. <laughs> Isn't that like cute and innocent? I love it when they, um, let these kids like be kids and you know, they don't have to be like so Growing up and learning new things all the time. They just let them Ish. go play with puppies. Oh, there's Kaylee no, I'm Where are you going Kaylee? No. Are you going? No. no, they're going to get me It oh my gosh, they're like across the street <laughs> Okay, I'm just talking to Evelyn. That was Ashley that left. Okay, so you're going to Target? Yeah, okay just be back by like 6, 20 at the very latest. I know. Okay. Yeah. Bye. I'm not leaving. Okay. Anyway, that's a teenager for you. She's going to Target to get... Oh, her friend wants to get um, acrylic nails to put on. I don't know. Totally teenager thing kind of do. Totally a teenager thing kind... I don't even know. I, I can't even like put that back together. So I'm just gonna work here on the computer for a little bit more. I'm caught up on my channel and I paid bill. Oh, actually I need to pay bills tomorrow, but actually I only have one bill that, that I ever have to pay. And I just have everything on my credit card or auto, automatic pay. And so 
it's nice. I only have to pay one bill, but it's usually pretty big. We'll see what our night brings later on. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> he was seriously in bed. Yes, he was. Okay, so Jason came home from work early. Is that door locked? No. He came home from work early. He's been home for about 40 minutes or so. There's no light. I'm trying to go outside. And he's like, let me take you out for dinner. Let's go out with the two younger girls. Um, the older girls have an activity for church. They're going to play with puppies, like I told you. That's for my trip. Leave it alone. Get me the here. Open the door for mom. Ashley, open the door for mom. Oh my goodness. Open the door. Um. Oh. The sleeping man awakes. <laughs> he laid back down when we were in a rush to leave. Yeah. So, the older girls are going to the church. Okay, and the car fighting is going to start. I'm going. Ashley, I mean, Chelsea. You don't get to sit there when I'm going. Who's driving? You? Dad. Why? Oh, okay. So they don't know the scenario. What? Hop out. You got to put it in the back seat. So, anyway. We're going to go to dinner while the older kids go to the church. <laughs> That's the advantage of being the adult in charge. Okay, I'm going to deal with the car situation really quick. We'll be right back. Chelsea's making new rules to the license plate game. We've always been able to do two people. No, you get to do one person. Well then. <laughs> no, you already got me. You don't get to do it double back. I don't care. And then who's back? Oh, ouch. Where's California? California's back there. No, you can't. No, you can't do pass cars. I it has didn't to be like in the moment. I have to get situated so I can get to Nice try. I had to get situated. So we're trying I to... still got you either way. You did. We're trying to convince the girls to go to a new place. We're going to no, introduce no, no. them to... I know, but we're going to just try something new because now Dad and I's mouths are watering thinking about these other two restaurants that we wanted to go to. So just give us a break or give us a chance and I think you'll like it. They have salad. So if all else fails, you can get a salad, Chels. Okay? Go right there. Go oh, around. Yeah. All right, let's go try a new place. Okay, now that you have a drink, are you gonna try a mozzarella stick? You guys, our kids are crazy. They're worried about trying a mozzarella stick. And I'm trying to tell them, it's pizza on a stick. <laughs> yes? Oh my gosh. Is that what you just <laughs> yes, said? I just said, let's sit here for a minute. We told all the kids to go in the house. Two of them need a bath, or not a bath, a shower. They all left, and I was like, ooh, it's quiet. <laughs> Don't want to go inside yet. We picked up. sit in the garage and make out in the car. <laughs> he has high hopes. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh. I know, I'm just kidding. Um, no, we picked Kaylee and Abby up. They played with the puppies, they had a great time. One of them, one of the moms is being, um, I don't know. They're trying to convince one of the moms to take one of these puppies. They're golden retrievers. Is that what it was? But anyway, no dogs for us. But if Kaylee can go to activities and play with dogs and get her little dog fixed, then all the better. with other people's dogs. It's like uh, having friends with boats. Yeah. You don't really want a boat. Mm -mm. You just want friends with boats. Yeah. So can we hear the fighting yet? No. No. All right, then we don't go in yet. <laughs> I just want to see Wait here. till the fight. I know. No, I don't it want to wait till the fight. I want to wait till at least one of the kids is in the shower. Ashley did not eat her dinner. Like, she is such that a girl. stink. And it's a cheese sandwich. I, I don't even she understand. It's a red robin grilled cheese. It's ridiculous. Yeah. I, it's just annoying. You guys list below what your kids are super picky about in their food. It's yeah. always kind of funny to see what other people are. I told her she's not allowed to eat from home. She's going to be hungry. She had like four tater tots and five french fries. She can go to bed hungry. Yeah, I think I'm going to make her go to bed hungry tonight because she was a stinker. She ordered it. She was excited about eating it. And she's like, it's not the same. I'm like, it's freaking bread and cheese. They probably are using the same Tillamook cheese that I use here at home. 
I, it's, anyway, annoying. So that you don't have to hear all the fighting that is happening inside the house. We will end our video today. Tomorrow I will pack up and get ready to go to my sister's bridal shower. But for you guys, that'll be next week. So stay tuned to next week and we will go on a little mini trip. It literally is like 24 hours long. I've never wanted to like be bumped from a flight before, but I actually want to because it's on Alaskan Airlines, which if I can get another voucher or like airline credits or money. like money, like a Visa card or something, we can actually use it toward yeah. our trip to Hawaii if we end up, oh, see there's, oh, the fighting. there's the fight. No, giggles. But I don't know if I dare go in. So tomorrow I'm just going to work to make dreams come true. I just, you know, he's my sugar daddy. <laughs> so, <laughs> I let him do it. <laughs> I'm trying to make this work. You, you are, guys are the I'm ones who are helping. Me. Oh, mm -hmm. my gosh. Get out of the car quick. You just pass gas. Take care, you guys. If you aren't sick of us yet, and you've watched for the first time, go ahead and subscribe and come back for more. Okay, bye. Also, look, I inflated this earlier today. Remember how I thought it was like broken? Well, it actually just came undone. The little nozzle inside came undone, so it deflated that way. So it's totally fine. Stayed all puffed up all day long. And it has like this little pocket for my cell phone. Let it end, love. Let it end. Let it end? Yeah, let okay, it end. Ashley, you want to say goodnight? Good night. Me and Ashley were just wrestling. Okay. Hey, what do you mean pocket? Hey, what do you mean? Go to bed. I think you need stuff like that for the store. Okay, so, go to bed, go to bed. Yeah, it just plays. Okay, good night. Should we end this?